And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back in Chernaris, Chernaris, however they pronounce it. And we're getting back into the uh, wide, wide world of zombie killing with only a hatchet. We're going to see how well it goes. I'm trying something different this time. Uh, last time I was using uh, Play Claw to record. This time I'm going to try Fraps and just see what the video quality is like. And look at this. This is this. They're they're, they're just taunting me. They got a end field here up there. They've got a uh, what is it? A uh, a Winchester. That's just not nice. Oh crap! Ow! Oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ugh. That did not work at all as I planned. Alright, so, day one. We still have a hatchet. So far, we have not run into any survivors. But there are plenty of zombies around. And the double barrel gun this game is taunting me with its tauntiness. You know... Oh, there's some drink over here. Sweet. Since I'm not actually collecting anything, maybe I should just take the uh, jerry cans. I'll drink a soda for good measure. Because nothing clears up some shock like a good Coke. Yeah, I might as well take a jerry can with me since I'm not going to have anything really on or in my inventory that's going to take up a lot of room here. But I am going to put that in my backpack here. There we can. There we are. Okay. Now let's get the hell out of here. And trying to remember where we're at. It's been a while since I played. A few days because of uh, Planet Side 2. The NDA got lifted. I've been doing a bunch of videos on that. Hello? Hello, zombie. Just one zombie. I'm actually kind of disappointed here. We have to find more. As a matter of fact, I should go over here and check out the. Uh, there's a zombie. Hello, zombie. Hi, zombies. Come on, zombies. I should go and check out the uh, compound over here, see if there's anything good. Although at this point, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I mean. I'm making my way slowly towards uh, uh, Berezino, and chances are I'm going to find some like high-profile, high-value weapon that everyone just loves and is sought after, and I'm just going to be like, nope, hatchet. Ooh, 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 do I have a toolbox already? Do I have a toolbox? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Up here, I'm going to give value. Bullets, don't need bullets. I do have flares and chem lights in case I ever go to a rave. Yeah, I'll check up here real quick. Basically, I just need to find survival things that will allow me to. There you go. Eh, whatever. That'll allow me to hunt and cook and, you know, keep myself alive. Do I want to run in this fashion or this fashion? This fashion or this fashion? I guess this fashion. It does give you a little more bits of mobility. Oh, this one little zombie. This cute little zombie. Wait, hey! Where are you going? Okay. And of course I can carry plenty of bandages because I'm not using anything else. Just a hopper. Okay. Go over here and I shall refill... Oops. <laughs> refill my water bottle here real quick. There we are. Rancid water. Tasty. And then we're going to get the hell out of Dodge. And we're going to make our way towards Berezino. What I need to do is I need to find a, uh, a good backpack and a hunting knife matches 
Then I should be set. I, I, then I can start uh, trekking and figure out what I want to do next. Because obviously when you're not hunting for weapons, it takes away a lot of what you're trying to do. But what I can do is I can stalk people if I find them. They're like, don't worry, I am friendly. They call me Molly. Molly Hatchet. <laughs> What is that? Is that a... No, that's a speck on my monitor. Ew. Scratch that off. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's see what we got going on here. I still want to find a bicycle. Someday I will find the bicycle. And all will be well. But until that day, I shall run around knowing full and well that I still have a mission in life. Hello, Hedgen. Are you doing well? You seem to be. I mean, you're you're bouncing around all happily. Yeah. So far, we are playing the running simulator game again. Hello, bird. Goodbye, bird. But yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be interesting seeing what I can actually figure out what to do after I get situated. I might actually try and make my way into like Cherno or Electro and just see uh, how long I last. But then again, Barazino is gonna be uh, difficult enough as it is, not uh, not only because of the zombies, but because there may actually be somebody there. Um, and I always could check the uh, the northeast airfield. I've only been there once. There really wasn't all that much there, though. I was kind of surprised about that. And then there was that town where there was absolutely nothing, and I caught aggro from that zombie there. Fantastic. But I don't care. I have a hatchet. If you come near me, you're gonna get chopped. It's like the TV show, except we're not clicking. Uh, hmm. I guess we can go and check out the dock, or actually we'll go and check the, uh, Little farmyard barn here. Bar. Hi, monkey. Hi, hey, monkey. And then once we get done checking that, we can move on. I'm not going to get myself stuck inside of a house again, that's for damn sure. I say that now, and yet in about five to ten minutes, the tune will probably change. And death will be mine. Hi hey guys, um, listen, uh, it's not that I don't like you, but you're not allowed in here. This is a zombie free zone. Take a heat pack, why the hell not? Yeah, okay, I can grab a couple of more bandages. Are you gonna come in here? I'm a zombie killer, killing them zombies. Oops. 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 Whoa. That's an issue. What the hell? There we go. <laughs> and one more. <laughs> I hear you running. Ow, prick. Now I shall grab a couple more of these. Where'd they go? There they are. Do you really want some of me, monkey boy? I didn't think so. <laughs> Let's check in here, and just in case, there might be a mythical. No, but there's a knife. Sweet. Whoops, I didn't mean to take the chem light. That's right, more chem lights. More party time. No, we're gonna drop that. G17 and an AKM mag. That's kind of weird to find. Oh, I already have a knife. <laughs> Silly me. What's in the outhouse? Nothing. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna move on.
I want a bicycle. Won't you give me one right now? And here I go, panting once again. Pant, pant, pant. Let's go check to see if there's a a boat. There is. There's a boat. There's two boats again. I'll be dip damn doogled. Well, fantastically enough, I can refill one of these boats and take it out for a spin. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, let's get over here. I gotta take the uh, jerry can out of my backpack. Forgot about that. Okay. So let's put one of the chem lights, the cokes in there. Take the jerry can out. There we are. Refuel it. Urinate inside of its uh, inside of its gas tank again. And someone actually told me I can actually go over here and refill it. I was not aware of this before, but I am now. So I'm going to go do... Oh, shit! On a plus note, I'm not losing any of my gear so far. Hopefully it stays that way. Boop. Boop. I am not Michael Phillips. I am not Michael Phillips. I am not Michael Phillips. Alright, go back up. Go back up. Back up again. Back up again. Yes! The hell? I sort of got to hurt somebody in the water. It's kind of tripping me out. I don't know what to think, what to expect. What to do. But apparently I can go over here and refill my gas can, yes. Uh, how is this not... Oh, do I have to take it to an actual gas station? That would make more sense. All right, so we'll just hang on to it for now. We'll take a little boat ride over to Berezino. Uh, yeah. Macaw. Macaw to you, sir. Let's go over here real quick and just check what's in this little building. Probably nothing. Nope, nothing of interest. Alright, so let's get in our boat and get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this thing's got plenty of gas now. Sweet. That means I can motor it. I can pump up this motor. Go as fast as this boat can somewhat go. Not really all that fast, mind you, but... We'll make somewhat decent time. But luckily, while we drive, we can muse a little bit. And by muse, I mean speak incoherently. Uh, it's interesting, there's so many of these uh, uh, zombie survival games coming out now all of a sudden. And uh, one of them is War Z, which I haven't seen too much about. I saw some screenshots, and it sounds like it could be interesting. Uh, it sounds like it's pretty much along the same lines as this game, and I'm fine with that. Any competition is good competition. Um, the standalone for this game is supposed to be coming out there. They said they were hoping for like October or November, but I don't know how that'd be possible. Uh, they're not going to be using the uh, Arma 3 engine. They said it's going to be like Arma 2.5, which I guess they're just going to do some upgrades and stuff. Which I'm still fine with. I mean, I, I like this game as it is. You know, as long as they can make it so they have more control over the engine itself. Because right now, the uh, 
the engine itself is pretty bad. I mean, they need to get rid of the ability to script so much, even though the whole game is just a script in itself. Um, but it's got the potential, and it could be very much fun. Oh, that's not somebody. Apparently not. But, yeah, there's War Z, and, uh, you know, we'll see how that one goes. Uh, I'll keep an eye on it. And the other one is, what is it, uh, State of Decay, which is a uh, console-only title from the sounds of it. And I'm fine with that, too. There's nothing wrong with that. But it does sound a little bit different than this game in which you are actually in charge of a whole team of people. And you have to kind of micromanage them a little bit. you got to decide if you have enough food for everybody, who you take on missions, who you leave behind. Um, and I'm not sure how I feel about the whole idea of having missions in general. I think it, an open world sandbox like this is kind of better for a survival type game when you're literally just trying to survive. What needs to happen is there needs to be some sort of bigger threat than just what we currently have. What we currently have, we have zombies, which are nothing, as you can see. I mean, I've pretty much made it a point to show that you can just run around and have zombies chase you, walk through a building, and you're done. They need to fix that for the standalone. They need to make it so zombies can go anywhere at any time. And as a matter of fact, they need to make it so they are everywhere at any time. That it's just a, not a random occurrence that, you know, you spawn in, or you come to a city and they spawn in. They need to be around, and they need to wander. I'm fine with them still spawning in, just to keep, you know, the population up and everything, but there needs to be zombies outside of the towns to make this more interesting. Um, but, yeah, as far as missions and stuff go, I just, I, I can't imagine how much fun that's going to be, just for the simple fact that, you know, then you have defined goals, and in a survival game, your only defined goal should be to survive. And, you know, if they're going to start having, like, rewards for completing quests and stuff, then that's getting too much into an RPG fashion. And I don't think survival games are really built for that. I mean, there there have been some that have tried, and I can't remember the names offhand now. Um, but, yeah, it's just, I don't, I don't see it as being as fun as this. Even though this is so extremely frustrating at times, having to deal with all of the extra crap that's added on to it. It's still a very, very fun game. So we're coming up on Berezino now. And, uh, yeah, we'll figure out what we're going to do once we get there. Going to be dishing the boat again, I know. It's, it's sad. As much as I enjoy the boats, it's just one of those things where I, I don't actually have a use for it. I mean, I suppose I could take it all the way around to, like, Cherno or something like that and see if I can find any scragglers along the way, hitchhikers and whatnot. But, yeah, that just doesn't sound as fun as doing this. Now, one thing I do want to do, though, I do want to go over here and check out and see if there might be one of the uh, Zodiac boats. If there's a Zodiac, I might actually take that out and go for a spin because those things are so fast. This one is just not fast enough to take out for a spin. This is just a relaxing cruise vessel. be great for a water taxi, though, because you can converse with the people you're taxiing. Of course, people don't trust you to taxi them anywhere. Which is too bad, so sad. But the funny thing is, is uh, I got Guild Wars 2. I played it. I got my Ranger to about level 31, maybe. And I inexplicably just stopped. And I think the reason is because I just burned myself out on the betas. The beta weekend events. I played it so hard, so fast, so furious, so fun. And just kind of just took the initial thrill away from it. And I think what I'm going to have to do is just give it a little bit of time wait for them to get the kinks worked out because they keep taking down the trading company and the trading post and mail systems and all this other stuff so they're obviously having a lot of issues with it right now so I might just give it a week or two what I might do is just wait until after my vacation which is next weekend starting on the 8th I'm out for a week I'm gonna be out and about on the town not on the town well, on the state of Oregon away from South Carolina as a and uh, you know when I get back everything should be fine then Hopefully.
you know, giving them two weeks to get things caught up. And of course, I'll be behind. You know, I'll be. Uh, people will have their second characters going after they've completed their level 80s, and that's fine. You know, I've always been. I was the same way. I didn't actually get into World of Warcraft until uh, Wrath of Lich King, Lich King came out. And even then, I played that guy. I played my uh, my rogue up to uh, or, yeah, rogue up to a level 85 in got about two weeks. I was so disappointed by that fact. There was nothing, nothing to do. I mean, after you get to the point where you have completed the story and completed the leveling process, and ends up like they do this as Zodiac here, so I'm going to turn it around. But after you complete the, uh, you know, the leveling portion of it, then everything just becomes like a chore. It becomes a second job. I mean, you have to do the dailies, and you have to do all these different grinds to get gear, and you have to do more grinds, and you have to be good at it, and you have to have all these mods, and people will kick you if they don't think you're doing good enough, and it's just, it takes all the fun away from the game. And, you know, it, that's been pretty much my MO with every MMO, though, is the journey is what's fun for me, not the end game. There have been very few games, Rift is one of the very few games where the end game was just as fun, because... You know, going out and doing those huge uh, rifts and endgame rifts and stuff like that in the dungeon. Those are actually pretty fun because you could actually be more, a little more versatile. And I'm sure it'll be the same way with uh, Guild Wars 2. Uh, but I'm just not too worried about getting to that point just yet. Alright, so we're going to go up here. We're going to get a little food in us. And apparently I have a compass. Why the hell do I have a compass? Is it just a boat feature? Let's find out. Yeah, it's just a boat feature. Okay. I was going to say, that'd be kind of cheating otherwise. Thank you, boat. You've done your uh, your brother in a great, uh, great service. You have given a good name to boats everywhere. Oh, are you going to follow me, Mr. Zombie? Come on. Come on with it. But yeah, like I was talking about before, the zombies really aren't a threat anymore. It's people that are the threat. There for me. Nothing here. Oh dear. Back off. I got a hatchet. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're gonna regret this. Oh, two seconds of it. <laughs> Of course, that was supposed to be you're going to regret this for the rest of your life, all two seconds of it, but alas, I was not fast enough. Alright, so I guess I'm going to head this way. I don't know what's this way, but we're going to head this way. No zombies chasing. I'm waiting for the inevitable pew 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 of gunfire flying at me. Less likely here in Berezino than in other places, but still quite the possibility. Hello? Hello. Rawr. Uh, let's see, where do I want to go? I got a hatchet. I got a hatchet. I got a hatchet. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, open. Crap. Did I vault over this? Am I that good? Yes! I am ninja! Ninja vaulter extreme. I think I can not handle it. Let me go up in here and grab a little snack. So I have baked beans and sardines. I think the sardines should uh, probably get rid of any... Uh, any potential eating peoples. Because who would want to eat a guy that smells like sardines? Floaty firewood! Fantastic. Alright, so there's the apartments. Wow, I sound like I'm just zooming along. 
Call. But that's the apartments. Where's the chicken? Chicken. <laughs> I have killed you, chicken, and now I will gut you. Yeah. That was not a pretty picture. Do not fear me. I am your friend. Another water bottle and food. Sweet. And a watch. Do I already have a watch? I do not. Slowly but surely, I gear up in a tent. Not really helpful to me at this point, but may come in handy one day. Uh, so we'll take the pasta and we'll take another water bottle because it never hurts to have more than one. And you know what? I can actually stick this tent in my backpack. And I can start hoarding everything. Wait, where is it? What the hell? The tent's gone missing. That's kind of trippy. I made the tent go poof. About the old Binox here. Let's take a look. There's the other apartments, and that's where the uh, where the uh, where we're thinking of the supermarket's going to be. So we shall start heading in that general direction. But, alas, that will be for the next exciting adventure. So, until next time.